The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer is a collection of stories told by a group of pilgrims on their way to the shrine of St. Thomas Becket in Canterbury Cathedral. The tales are framed by a prologue and an epilogue that provide a vivid portrait of the pilgrims themselves and the world they inhabit. The pilgrims are a diverse group of characters, drawn from all levels of society. They include a knight, a squire, a nun, a monk, a partner, and a host of other characters who are representative of different social classes and occupations. Each pilgrim tells a story that reflects their individual perspective on life, love, and society. One of the most interesting aspects of the Canterbury Tales is its use of language. Chaucer wrote in Middle English, a language that is vastly different from modern English. His language is rich and poetic, filled with vivid imagery and complex wordplay. Chaucer's mastery of language is evident in the way he captures the nuances of different social classes and regional dialects. The tales themselves are also fascinating. They range from body and irreverent to moralistic and allegorical. The Miller's Tale, for example, is a raunchy story about a carpenter and his wife, while the Prioress's Tale is a pious story about a young boy who is murdered by Jews. The tales are a reflection of the diversity of medieval literature and the varied tastes of Chaucer's audience. One of the themes that runs throughout the tales is the idea of pilgrimage. The pilgrims are on a journey to a holy site, and their journey is a metaphor for the spiritual journey that all people must undertake. The tales are also a commentary on the social and political issues of the day, including corruption within the church, the role of women in society, and the tensions between different social classes. Perhaps the most famous tale in the collection is The Wife of Bath's Tale, which tells the story of a knight who must find the answer to the question, what do women most desire? The tale is a commentary on the role of women in society and the power dynamics between men and women. Another notable feature of the Canterbury Tales is its use of irony and satire. Chaucer uses humor and irony to poke fun at the flaws and foibles of his characters and their society. The tales are full of sly commentary on the hypocrisy of the church, the corruption of the nobility, and the folly of human nature. In conclusion, The Canterbury Tales is a timeless work of literature that continues to captivate readers today. Its rich language, complex characters, and wide-ranging themes make it a masterpiece of medieval literature. Chaucer's tales offer a window into the medieval world and the diverse perspectives of its people. The tales are a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of human drama. We hope you are enjoying the content on the Library Channel. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the best book summary, recommendations, and literary discussions on YouTube. If you are finding our content helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or suggestions, and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow and continue to provide you with more great content in the future. Thank you for your support and happy reading.